Hey class of 2020 and welcome to another episode of 30 Days to Duke. On today's episode, we have our first year team out in the street interviewing other first year students about what they think makes Duke diverse. What makes Duke diverse is everybody's different interests. What makes Duke diverse, I think, is the fact that we have like people from like all around the world, but also many different places in the U.S. and all many different socioeconomic statuses and um, different backgrounds and cultures. And um, also a lot of different groups on campus actively trying to um, like share their culture and like let their voices be heard. Uh, there's a very big array of students racially and people from different social classes and economic classes, people of different sexual orientations, clearly different genders, people from all over the world, different countries, different states, so all of these things and more make Duke very diverse. Well, I think that Duke is really great because unlike my high school, everybody's from all around the world. Everybody has different cultures, everybody has different background, and I think that's really cool because that's something that you don't get in other places. And it's just really nice because I have friends from all the way around the world who were raised completely different from me. Yeah, I can kind of go off that actually because every single time I've met somebody new on a bus or anywhere, like you just like say hey to them and the stories you get about like where they're from, just like any life experiences are just so much different than anything you could possibly even like imagine. It's actually like really incredible. So I don't know. And I'm Pratt. <laughs> oh, and I'm from Trinity. <laughs> We're different but the same. I think what would help to be more inclusive and diverse would be um, the fact that uh, we listen better to other people and take the time to really understand one another and um, I guess give value to the fact that people have different experiences and backgrounds and really use that to add to um, our learning and sharing in the classroom. Wow, that was awesome. Make sure to tune in tomorrow at noon for another great episode of 30 Days to Duke.